administering my creationist name and shame series, I have had several comments from creationists who seem to think I'm some kind of moron. His Truth Be Known commented on the video about him with some more quote mining and some comments about how dishonest I was meant to be etc, for which I immediately sent him to Coventry. He since went on to spam everyone who had subscribed to or commented on that particular video, accusing me of all kinds of dishonest actions. This is great stuff. I could make a career out of this guy. You see how clever this part is? How it doesn't require a shred of proof? Because of the amount of material I will need to cover in order to fully refute his claims and to put this moron for rest once and for all, I will address his truth be known in a follow-up series. Ten minutes is nowhere near long enough. However, another creationist by the name of Smokey Sport seems to think he's not only smarter than I am, but also smarter than the entire scientific community. His amusing comments on His Truth Be Known Part 1 are there for all to see. And so we come to our fourth episode of the series. Smoky Sport has exhibited the following behaviour. This comment is repeated three times. The first repetition of the comment garnered this response from myself. His Truth Be Known has no ability to use logic and reason. That was implicit in his hateful, disgusting comments on Largo64's video. The second repetition resulted in a warning. I do not tolerate spam, nor trollish behaviour. Speaking of trollish behaviour, I had this comment, and this one. And there are many other comments that are similar. Now the snide remark about how to get blocked by a free speech believer deserves outright to be blocked for trollish behaviour. However, at that point, I had still not blocked him because I had posed a question that needed an answer and I wanted to give the creationist a chance to prove he was not a complete and total idiot. It was a disappointment, if not completely unexpected, that the creationist was unable to do so. A question relates to the series of false accusations made against me, such as this one. I responded, out of context, uh, no. His context came across loud and clear and the posts themselves were included in the video so you could see where it came from. Now the first instance of evasiveness follows after the first instance of spamming a previously made comment. So wanting to get to the heart of this single sentence I was supposed to have quoted out of context, I put this question to the creationist. If you are accusing me of being out of context, then by all means, Mr. Creationist, show me what context he meant his comment in, what comment I'm supposed to have quote mined, and how it can mean anything different the way I quoted it to how it was in its original post. Now is put up or shut up time, Mr. Creationist. His response was once again to evade the question and come back with this asinine comment. No, if you wish to call me a liar, then you are under the burden of proof to provide evidence that I have in fact lied. I have done so myself. You have not. Put up or shut up time now. Make a note of this. Twice I have asked Smokey Sport to provide evidence that I had in fact quoted His Truth Be Known out of context. Now you can go directly to the comments on the video in question and see for yourself what I'm referring to. There are no less than five occasions where I asked him to provide evidence and on all five occasions he tries dis evasion, deception and misdirection. In the end, his trollish behaviour, misdirection, evasiveness, ad hominems, non sequiturs and red herrings resulted in decisive action on my part. My final response to the comment section is as follows. You have failed to address my argument. On no less than five occasions I have asked you to prove how I quoted his truth be known out of context. You have evaded this request every single time. Essentially, you are accusing me of quoting out of context without any evidence to back up your accusation. You repeatedly demonstrate, just like any other creationist, that you have a selective memory ignoring the annotations in the video instructing on how to get better textual definition and you exhibit creationist behavior in the form of the tactic when an explanation shows you to be completely wrong ignore the explanation and reassert the original claim this is unacceptable childish behavior and you sir have now been named and shamed and since you are unable to engage in proper rules of conduct when disagreeing with someone namely being honest and upfront you now find yourself in time out with the other infants he also commented on part 2 of his Truth Be Known's episode, making the direct claim that there are no medical sciences that rely on evolutionary biology. 
since this has eluded some of the finest scientific minds on the planet, minds who have managed just fine in adapting medical treatments to work for new conditions, diseases, viri, bacterial infections, and other medical sciences based on reproducing organisms and biological life, I thought it might be worthwhile to look and see if this extraordinary and almost unfounded claim had any basis of truth in it whatsoever. Within five seconds of performing a Google search, I found this site. And on this site was also this particular document, which provides an overview. Both of these links are in the sidebar of the video. And this was just after a brief search on the internet. If I had conducted a thorough search of the internet and checked every single link and resource, I would have been able to produce thousands of such results. Like I say in all of my videos dealing with creationists, there really is no excuse anymore for ignorance. And to conclude this video, I would like to reiterate my original response. To the comment about His Truth Be Known not having made any comments regarding the claim that the Bible does not make any statement about the age of the earth, I have responded with an annotation acknowledging the point and reattributing these stupid, incorrect comments to their rightful owner, Smoky Sport. They are still incorrect, and the King James Version of the Bible does have every single one of these Bible quotes in it in spite of your claims otherwise. The evidence speaks for itself, both in evolutionary biology and in the presence of these supposedly non-existent quotes of yours in the Bible. So an apology to his truth be known for misattributing the Bible comments to him. However, my original points still stand, so don't believe you're off the hook yet, especially with the examples of your disingenuous behaviour and hate speech present on Largo64's comments. As for Smoky Sport, regarding the comment that I am supposed to make an annotation on a video with his truth be known's full quote, you know, the one I'm supposed to a quote mind, as I have asked you on at least five occasions to provide the following, evidence of the post I'm supposed to quote mind, an explanation as to what misconstrual can be made of the quote in question, an explanation of to what post in its entirety would mean if it had been reproduced in full, and an explanation of how I supposedly took this quote out of context. And on all occasions you failed to do so. You exhibited typical creationist behaviour such as evasiveness when asked a direct question, one which had a clear and direct response, and ad hominem attacks against my character that frankly did nothing to refute my argument, my original video, or the theory of evolution itself. You ignored any and all explanations that would have proven you wrong and attempted to misdirect the issue by pointing to your poor eyesight as an excuse to accuse me of not making a legible video. You have been placed into timeout in the naughty corner, not allowed to talk to the rest of the class until you can learn to behave in a more civil fashion and not as some infantile babbling ranting infant who spits his dummy at because I happen to disagree with you because I seek to ridicule people who truly deserve it. And you truly deserve it. And now you have been named and shamed for your disingenuous behaviour. Remember folks, if you're going to accuse someone of a smear campaign without evidence, if you're going to use circumstantial evidence to accuse someone of lying, if you're going to make other accusations and instead of backing them up with specifics and or evidence, but instead behave in an evasive fashion, you're going to get laughed at.